Hey everyone, this is David B. And yesterday I had to get a filling at the dentist, so I thought I would make a video just sharing what that experience is like. Two weeks ago I had had my six month checkup and they had asked if any teeth were bothering me and I told them that one of my teeth on the lower left was bothering me and that um, about five months earlier I had been chewing and suddenly felt a lot of pain there, so I suspected that I might have chipped a filling and uh, they took a look and said yeah we can uh, looks like we need to replace that filling so my appointment to do that was yesterday at 10 a.m. I arrived about five minutes early and went up to the front desk and told the receptionist my name and that uh, I was there for an appointment at 10 o'clock and she said okay just have a seat and we'll be right with you I only had to wait about a minute before the assistant came out and called my name and took me back to the room. She had me sit in the chair and she put a bib around my neck to protect my clothing. Right away, the dentist came in and said hello to me and just reviewed that he would be doing one filling and he suggested that I get numbed up for it. Now, I've had a lot of fillings and some of them I get numb and some of them I don't. Um, but for this one, I went along with his recommendation. I don't know why sometimes he recommends it and sometimes he doesn't. Um, but this one had been causing me some pain, so I figured it was a good idea to get numb. So the first thing he did, and again, I, I'm just sharing this experience from the point of view of the patient. And so I don't get to see all of these things he's actually doing. He took something on a stick, I guess kind of like a Q-tip or something, and he put it back into that cheek and had me close my teeth and hold it there and I guess that had something on it that began the numbing process just to um, numb up that part of the mouth before he did the actual shots. So after a few minutes he took that out and I was ready for the actual shots which I believe are Novocaine. I hope I'm using the correct term and uh, he told me to open my mouth as wide as I could and stay still and this is the most painful part. If you're getting numbed, the actual shots are the part that really hurts. And he gave me shots. It felt like a couple different places in the mouth. I'm not sure how many, but maybe like three or four different spots that he injected some of the uh, Novocaine. After that, he waited a few minutes and then he gave me one more shot of it. And uh, then he waited a few more minutes. By this time, my mouth was starting to feel numb. Again, it was on the bottom. So kind of the whole bottom half of my jaw, including my lip and the side of my tongue, they were all starting to feel numb. He asked if I was feeling numb, and I guess he probably poked me a few times to see if I was actually numb. And uh, since I was, we got started with the filling. So the first thing he did was put something on my tooth, which I guess there's a part that goes between the teeth where the filling is going to go but it then wraps around one of the other teeth and then they kind of clamp it down. It's like they're tightening something. You just feel something tightened on your tooth. After that was on, he started with, I guess, what is the actual drill that um, drills out where there's any of the decay of the cavity. And if you chose not to get numbed, this is the part that hurts the most is when they're drilling out the actual cavity. And he mentioned something about it's actually the heat that causes a lot of the discomfort for people. But since I was numbed, I w wasn't feeling anything. I could hear it, obviously. It sounded like a high-pitched, whiny drill sound. You can feel the vibration, but I didn't feel any of the, um, the discomfort that's usually associated with that. If they don't numb you, um, I would describe it as a combination of kind of a a nails on chalkboard feeling along with a little bit of pain and um, it only hurts while they're actually doing the drilling so maybe it's 15 or 20 seconds total so it's not completely unbearable but it definitely is uncomfortable but if you're numb like I was you don't really feel anything at all at that point once he was satisfied that he had removed all of the decay, he switched to a different tool. And I'm not sure exactly what this is or what it looks like, but he says this is going to bump on your teeth a little bit. And it's something that's kind of rough. And I, I guess it's just preparing that section to um, put the filling in. And again, at this point, if you aren't numbed, this can be a little uncomfortable as well, but not as bad as the other thing. Okay, the next thing they do after that, I guess, is 
inject or I don't know the right word, but they um, put in the filling. So I imagine it starts out, I guess it's some kind of liquidy substance. Um, but what they do is they, they put it onto the spot and then they use some kind of light um, that I guess hardens it because they do that a little bit. Then it's like they, they try to mold it a little bit to make sure it's right. Then they do it again. They adjust it a little bit. They do it again. And I guess it's hardening every time they use. I don't know if it's UV light. Um, but at this point, what they might do is hold something um, over your eyes or in front of the doctor's eyes just so no one's getting exposed um, to that light. And every time they do it, they're usually using the light for maybe like 20 seconds at a time. Um, my dentist has one that beeps every five seconds so you can keep track. So he might say, all right, only 10 more seconds on this one. So it doesn't really take that long. And again, that's just hardening up the substance. And he molds it a little bit, hardens it some more. After that, I can't remember the exact sequence. I think he might use the, the drill a little bit or he might use some kind of tool to, um, to make it the right shape. And then they take off whatever that thing was that they, they wrapped around your tooth. They take that off. After that, they do a couple more things. Um, the one thing... He put floss in to make sure that it was flossing correctly because you want those teeth to be touching. So you want to feel that um, resistance from the floss. You don't want like a big opening, a big gap. If they're not touching, then something went wrong. And the other thing they do is they put something in your mouth and tell you to bite down. And so you bite down. Then they say, tap your teeth together. And you have to you know, tap your teeth a couple times. And... Um, I'm not sure exactly what that's doing if they're look if it's like a piece of metal and they're looking at how your teeth shaped it or if it's actually putting something on your teeth but I think the idea is they're seeing um the overall shape of the teeth to see if it's sticking up too high and they need to drill it down a little bit. And um if it's high, they'll take the drill and just take a little bit off of that section, try to make it so that it feels um good in your mouth. And a lot of times they might even ask you, like, bite down. and does, does that feel okay or does it feel like it's high? Okay, and once they've done that, you're done. And you can actually um, chew on that new filling right away. Um, they used the light. They hardened it. Everything is completely finished. Now, they'll usually sit you up in the chair and tell you to sit there for a minute just because they don't... If you've been laying back, they don't want you hopping up right away and having all the blood rush to your head and you, you know, pass out or whatever. So they'll have you sit for a minute before you stand up. Let me also mention this because I didn't make it clear. The dentist was the one doing the work, but he also had his assistant, who was a woman, who was handing him the different equipment and the things he needed. And she also was holding the suction where, um, you know, if I had saliva in my mouth, she could put the suction in to take that out. So since we were done, the assistant walked me back out to the front desk where I paid. Um, I don't have dental insurance right now, so I just paid out of pocket. And it cost $199, that's United States dollars, to um, get the filling done. And I paid it just using my credit card. Um, different dentist offices may have different ways that you can pay. You may be able to uh, maintain a balance and pay it off later. Um, but I just usually pay it right away on my credit card okay now I, I mentioned that I got numbed so how long does that last if you look online it says it numbs the tooth for one to two hours but you may feel it for three to five hours um, I would say it's more on the long end this one I felt completely numb until about four hours after they had done the injection and I would say it took six hours until the numbness was completely gone. So expect that if you get numbed with Novocaine that you're going to feel numb for um, somewhere five to six hours. Um, and don't panic if you still feel numb after that time. It's perfectly normal and then it just, um, you know, your body disposes of it and, and everything's back to normal. But the one thing I would say is be prepared when the Novocaine runs off and you can feel again. Be prepared to feel pain. Um, and honestly, I think most of the pain doesn't come from the filling. I think most of the pain that I was feeling was from the injection of the Novocaine itself. 
And um, so when it started to wear off, my my mouth definitely hurt um, quite a bit. It was uncomfortable there for a while. But here we are the next day, and um, I can still feel a little bit of pain, but um, definitely not as bad as yesterday. And I compare that to like five months ago. I think I got a feeling where I wasn't numbed. And right away when they were done with the procedure, there was a little bit of pain. There's always... A, a little bit of residual pain when they do a filling just in the tooth itself but um, I think most of the pain comes from the actual shots so it comes down to the question you know am I willing to put up with the 15 or 20 seconds of really uncomfortable pain from them drilling out the cavity um, you know or is it worth getting numbed and then having the the pain of them injecting the Novocaine plus the pain of being numb for six hours that day, plus the residual pain from the injection site. So I don't know. Use um, Like I said, I've had many fillings done. Sometimes I've been numbed. Sometimes I haven't been. Um, yesterday I was numbed. Maybe I shouldn't have been. But anyway, that's, um, that's the story of how um, getting a filling goes, at least at my dentist. And I'm located in Pennsylvania in the USA. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. This is David B. Thanks for watching.